here is another quiz. Uh, this is a quiz for my, uh, in my second semester physics lab. Uh, and we're doing things like resistance and resistivity. And this is a quiz on resistivity. And I made this up, so I'm just going to go ahead and go over the solution. Uh, I don't think it's too terribly difficult, but it's kind of fun. Uh, so let's get started. So you have some type of Play-Doh. And it's not Play-Doh because, you know, it's my quiz. So I made this Play-Duh. I made that up. Okay. Uh, and it formed into a cylinder that's 15 centimeters long. Like this. 15 centimeters. And it has a diameter of 0.9 centimeters. And, you know, in this case, it's probably a good idea to write down the units. Uh, because you could probably, you could do the problem without writing down the units and not doing a unit conversion, but, but you want to be careful because it depends on what I ask for. Uh, and I'm not too picky about that, but many people are. The Plato cylinder has a resistance, R1, of 113 ohms. I want to make a new resistor, R2, uh, that's 71 ohms. So the question is, what do I change, turn that into? Okay, so Play-Doh has a resistance, uh, but if I make the resistor wider, it's going to have a lower resistance. If I make the resistance longer, it's going to have a larger resistance. And in fact, I can write the resistance, I'll call it R1. R1 is the resistivity times the length divided by the cross-sectional area. So right away, I can solve for uh, this. Let's go ahead and write this as L1 equals 0 0.15 meters, that's the length in meters. A1 is going to be equal to pi times D1 over 2 quantity squared, right? Because it's pi r squared, but I gave the diameter just because usually you measure the diameter. It's easier to measure diameter than, than it's to, to measure the radius. So I can get that. Uh, and that would be actually uh, pi times 0 0.009 over 2 squared meters squared. Right, it's 0.9, I, so I have to m divide by 100 to get that. Okay, so that's that. So I can solve this for the resistivity, and I get rho equals R1 A1 over L1. That's the resistivity. Now, if I want to reshape this, uh, the the device will have a different resistance, but the same resistivity. So let's take my new device. It looks like this. Let's call this L2, A2. And it has a resistance R2. So if I write that down, I can say R2 equals rho L2 over A2. And I want that to be equal to 71 ohms. Well, I can write in my expression for the resistivity right here. So I can put that in. I Yeah, I know you, I didn't calculate the resistivity. I'll do that in a little bit, but I don't need to, right? I can say uh, R2 equals the resistivity, which is R1A1 over L1 times divided by A2. And that does indeed not have the right units, L2. Rho is R1 is rho which is R1 A1 over L1. Oh, then I'm gonna need to multiply. I need to multiply by L2. Okay, that got it. So I know A1, I know L1, I know R1. I don't know L1, L2, or A2. Now here's where you could just pick, right? I could say, oh, A2 is the same. A2 equals A1. Solve for L1 or L2. I could do that. Okay. Um, in that case, these would cancel, and I'd really just get a ratio of lengths. But one of the things I asked was, did you have enough Play-Doh? Okay, and I don't want to do a boring problem. I want to have, it's, is it possible? Is it possible to use the exact same amount of Play-Doh, but to make the resistance lower? I think it is. Okay, so let's say that if I don't lose any Play-Doh, then I can say the volume V1 equals V2. So here's my two... Uh, resistors. Clearly it's going to have to be uh, longer, I mean shorter and wider. So this is going to be A1 L1, A2 L2. What's the volume of this? V1 is going to be L1 A1 
and that's going to be equal to L to A2. So let's solve this for A2. A2 is going to be equal to L1 A1 over L2. Now I can plug that into my equation. So I had R2 equals uh, R1 A1 L2 over L1 A2. Now I'm going to plug in this for A2. So I get R2 equals R1 A1 L2 over L1. And then for A2, I'm going to put this. L1 A1 divided by L2. So the A1, these cancel. I get R1 times L2 squared over L1 squared. So now I, I, know, I know everything, right? So this is just going to be uh, 113 ohms times L2. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I want to solve for L2, right? So L2 is going to be equal to, uh, L2 squared is going to be R2 times L1 squared divided by R, wait, R, I'm solving for L1. L2. So L1 R2 divided by R1. And then I take the square root. So L2 equals the square root of R2 L1, I can put that outside, over R1. So it's going to be the square root of R2, which is 71 ohms, divided by 113 ohms times 0 0.15 meters. So let's jump over to Python and let's check everything out uh, with, my, with my numbers. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and put in every value that we know. Uh, R1 equals 113. R2 equals 71. L1 equals 0.15. D1 equals 0 0.009. A1 equals pi times D1 divided by 2 squared. Uh, that's what I got, right? So let's just go ahead and calculate the resistivity just for fun. Uh, I put it in here as R1 times A1 divided by L1. And let's print that. Rho equals rho. And it has units of ohms, ohm meters. Ohm meters, is that right? Yeah, ohm meters. So let's put ohm meters. Let's just, let's just print that out. Okay, so there's my resist, resistivity. That's not my resistance. Okay. Now, let's, I, I picked, right? I picked a value for A1 and I picked a value for L1. So let's go ahead and calculate uh, L2. So let's say L2 is equal to uh, the square, let's just do this as L1 times the square root of R2 divided by R1 and print that out. L2 equals L2 meters. So it is indeed shorter, right? Because it's, which makes sense. If I want to decrease the resistance, I need a shorter wire. Uh, now let's go ahead and calculate the area just for fun. And I use my equation A2 equals L1 times A1 divided by L2, and let's, and let's print the diameter, okay? So let's say uh, D2 equals, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the square root of A2 divided by pi, and that's the radius, and then I need to multiply that by two. Isn't that right? Let's see, so A equals pi D over two squared, so I divide by pi, I take the square root, and then, okay, that's right. So let's print the diameter. D2 equals D2 meters. Uh, and so, so it is indeed thicker. Let's print the two volumes just to make sure. Uh, so I'm going to say V1, capital, V1, just to make sure it's the same amount of Play-Doh, V1 equals A1 times L1. Uh, and this is print that. 
and then I'll, I'll do V2 equals A2 times L2, and I'll print that. And if it's not the same, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, boom, got it. So there you go. Same amount of Play-Doh, new resistance, done.